Hi, this is Lou from Glowing Pigs International, and this is the fourth in a series of tutorials on how to code an app so you have music playing in a service. And the reason you want to do this is so that somebody can start music playing and then go pick up their email or surf the web or go to another app. The music will continue to play in the background uh, because it is in a service. Now in the last tutorial we showed you how to put a notification up in the status area so that when the service is running there's a notification that it's running and then when it stops the notification the notification disappears. So see there's the notification for the service running and playing the music and when we stop the music it disappears. This next tutorial we're going to show you how to deal with checking the connectivity. Um, you don't want the music, uh, you don't want this button to be pressed and then nothing happens if your phone is not connected to either Wi-Fi or uh, a phone connection. So what we want to do if there's no connectivity is pop up a dialog box that tells the user that. So let's get started. First thing you have to do when you're dealing with this kind of connectivity is in your manifest XML file you need to add these permissions and these permissions are for getting the network state, changing the network state, accessing the Wi-Fi state, and accessing and changing the Wi-Fi state. Now uh, for this application that we're doing, you probably only need a the two access lines, but I have the change ones in there also because moving forward we're going to deal with that. So let's put them all in there. Okay, so the first thing we want to do uh, is we're going to need a variable in here, a Boolean variable that uh, deals with um, whether we're online or not. So we'll plug that in there. Basically it's called is online and if we are online of course it's true and if not it's not true. In order to set that we have a uh, method we're going to create called check connectivity. And let's just throw that in down here. Okay, now this uses something called the Connectivity Manager. We're going to have to import the libraries for that. We also have to import the context library. This Connectivity Manager uh, has a number of things associated with it. The context is Connectivity underscore Service, and we're creating an instance of it here. And then we're checking for mobile connectivity which is your phone connectivity and we're checking for Wi-Fi connectivity. We're saying if there's the phone connectivity or if there's Wi-Fi connectivity then we set is online to true otherwise we set is online to false. Now the place we want to check this connectivity is right before we play the audio. If you remember the button invokes this method play audio. So what we want to do in the play audio is rather than just play it, we'll check the connectivity first. So I'm going to replace what's already in there with this. And what we're doing is we, we still have what we had originally which is start the service, set up the service, and then uh, you know the musical play. But before that we do a check connectivity where we invoke this method we just put in. And then we say if the Boolean variable is online is true, then we do all what we did before. We stop the service, set up service again, and start it. 
send the audio link to the service and the mp3 10.mp3 but if it's not online we're going to pop up this alert dialog and it's going to say network not connected please connect to a network and try again and there'll be an OK button for the person to get rid of the dialog now one other thing we want to do is if there is no connectivity we want to make sure that pause button doesn't turn that play button doesn't turn into a pause button because we want them to connect and then hit the play button again so we'll plug that in right before we show the dialog we're going to make sure we're setting that and then just going to format our source so we can make sure everything's fine. It looks like everything is. And now I'll show you how to test that with your emulator. What we need to do is we need to go into settings. We want to turn off all connectivity. The way we can do that is by going to wireless and networks and going to airplane mode and that turns off your wireless connectivity and uh, your phone connectivity. So then if we go back in here and run uh, we're going to have to run it from here so now we have all connectivity turned off you see it's in airplane mode and in a minute this will pop up And now if I hit play, network not connected, please connect to a network and try again. So there you have it. Uh, the next thing we're going to do in the next tutorial is we're going to be looking at a few other things to improve this application. For example, we'd like the music, if someone's listening with headphones, we'd like the music to stop when they pull out their headphone jack. So we'll be checking for that. And then if the phone rings in the middle of the music playing, we'd like the music to stop. And then we'd like the music to start again when the person is done with their conversation. So we'll be dealing with that in future tutorials. Uh, we'll see you next time.